Hey guys, Coach Rob here. I wanted to go over an exercise that we refer to as side skaters. Um, it's designed to work on the strengthening of the inner and outer thighs. Um, it's also designed to work on your balance because as you go to do this range of motion, your body's going to want to have a tendency to fall forwards or backwards while you tilt from left to right. Uh, the one thing I want you to pay attention to is form. If you've watched any of our videos, you know that we're big fans of doing it correctly, not just putting up big numbers or blowing through it real quickly. We want to remove momentum first and foremost, all right? So I'm going to start by going to your left um, as you're looking at the screen. One of the things I want you to think about is you want to be fluid with this range of motion, all right? So I'm going to kind of start in a downhill ski position. I'm going to simply drop out. Notice that I'm trying to keep my foot directly underneath my shoulder. If my leg's way out there, I'm not going to get the full range of motion, all right? So what I want to do is I want to come in. Notice that I keep this foot on the ground. Notice that this knee is locked out. Notice that I'm sitting down on the leg. I'm not leaning into it. I'm sitting down. Then what I want to do is I want to kind of create some tension on my inner foot so that my adductor pulls me back towards your right as you're looking at the screen. It's not about this leg pushing off. It's not a leg push. It's not a leg press. It's all about getting your inner thigh to pull you back up. All right? And as you get more comfortable, you can allow yourself to go a little bit progressively more deeper. Okay? Now, I don't want you to be thinking to yourself where you said, well, wait a second, Rob. I thought you said this was going to strengthen our inner and outer thigh. You're exactly right. Think about it this way. As I come down, the momentum is going to work on the outer part of the quad, vastus lateralis. Okay? And then, of course, there's going to be some level of pushing up. What I want you to mentally focus on is pulling with your inner thigh. It's not as difficult as it sounds. You're simply going to start in a skater position, drop to the side, feel yourself pull. At the same time, this leg gradually pushes you up. All right. Where your leg on the outside is getting stronger is offsetting the, the, the body coming down to a stop. Okay. If you can imagine a curve, as you start to drop, the power on the muscle drops. As I absorb it, that's where the maximum amount of power is generated is as, I, is I slow the body down. As I redirect that energy back to the other side, that's where I'm generating power once again. Okay? So there's two power peaks on this side, deceleration and receleration. Stay focused on it so you get the best of, the, best of both worlds. All right? After I've done, as you're looking at the screen, as I get my left side done, I'll go to my right side. Same thing. I want to make sure this foot stays down, this knee locks out. I'm dropped directly over my foot. I'm not leaning forward or anything else. I'm dropping down. I'm going to create some tension internally, come back up to neutral, bring it back down. Okay? Now, what you have to realize, imagine if I was doing my side lunges this way, okay? I don't want to be sticking out here and I don't want to be falling backwards. For those of you that have been following the video series, now we're back to that four plane area, okay? I don't want you falling too far forward, don't want you falling back, don't want you falling too far to the left, too far to the right. The top and the bottom from the torso up is kind of all in the mixture of that. If you have any questions about this exercise, please email me. I'd love to hear from you. My email address is Rob, R-O-B-B, -B, the number three, at earthlink.net. And thank you so much for watching the video.